How are you, lads and lasses? Welcome along, eh? What a great time to start the weekend. Sun is shining. We've got a bank holiday weekend in the UK. I think the US is off as well. Let us know if you're all having some time off. So, you know, maybe an extra day or so to work on these problems, maybe? Yeah? How would you reckon? Anyway, I want to bring us back, have a look at these things again, because honestly, it's really important that you understand what it is and how it gets to be, or where it's got its name from. So what you need to know is, I had someone asking us a question, so, oh, I want to do this, I really need to get this, me did, I need to do this, and it's just not making sense to us, this is just all oh, stupid and power BI, I don't see the point in it. And I sent him to watch the first video that we've done, and he went, what? That's so easy, why didn't anyone tell us how to do this? So I thought, oh, let's refresh it, because I'm sure Ali you might have missed it, or if he missed it, I'm sure other people will have done, not Ali is, I know, some of you's. Have a quick look at it, explain why it gets to be that way, and then you'll know when you need to do it and when you didn't. So, it all comes down, as I keep saying and I keep banging on about it, and I'm going to get some weird reputation, aren't I? Oh, there he is, that data shape guy. All he cares about is the shape of my data. He's got some kind of fetish. Really, what I care about, though, is making sure that your data is in the right shape. Now, good data for Power BI is going to be in terms of tables. Now, this is a denormalized table, kind of a flat file, the sort of thing you get in a spreadsheet. But you've got each row says something. So this is an interview, blah, 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 what's happened. It's kind of got everything in it. You've combined your dimensions and your facts all in one table. Not a problem. Kind of used to how we start with it. What you've also got is you get summary information. So we're all used to Excel. Oh, we've all done Excel. Time served. Ah, oh, now how to do me Excel and all that. Used to doing pivot tables. I'll build a pivot table. The reality is we've got lots of tables out there that are produced by systems that will be in essence, a pivot table behind the scenes. And because it's a pivot table, you have to treat it like that and do the sensible thing to get back to your table structure of unpivoting it. But that doesn't necessarily make sense as an initial, oh yeah, this is what I need to do with this data set. It's already aggregated. I need to unpivot it so it can make some sense of it with Power BI. So we'll have a look at that and I'll show you what I mean. So let us nip our to a couple of more data sets that we've looked at before. Yeah, first one is really simple. This is just a basic data set. You can download this off the Tinder web. If you really want to, I'll find it for you and put it somewhere. It's just one of these sample data sets. This one has 5,000 rows, but you can see it's just a basic table. The table structure is there. We've got regions, we've got countries, we've got items and a table in a database or in Power BI has to have columns and those columns have to make sense. So we've got region, here's our regions. We've got countries, here's our countries and so on and so forth. When you get your aggregated tables, your aggregated data sets that you'll be able to find and that you'll use, classic example of this is one of the COVID-19 ones. So here's the COVID-19 off the Johns Hopkins, just as it is, as you download it. And what we've got is we've got some, well, this is normal table information, isn't it? Province, country, region, latitude, longitude, just make it appear right on a map. No problems. And then it gets a bit odd. Now, I could turn around and say, well, this makes sense. Why, are you, what, you know, what's your beef, mate? What do you have a problem about it? It's dead simple why I've got a problem about it. These aren't, these are all date values. The values in all these cells are the same, aren't they? Not in terms of it's the same number, because well, most of them are zero, because this is, you know, early on in January. But they're all the same. These are infection counts that relate to a particular country and region. And then we're saying a date. So we've pivoted these values here and the date value to get a value here. It's a pivoted data set. It's a pivot table, just pretending not to be. And once you can, oh man, really? That's a pivot table. I, and it's so common that you just, it doesn't register. And the amount of people I see who've got a business critical spreadsheet, and it might be a system generated one, like this one probably is, it might be a manual one where, well, every day we put like the balance at the end of the month or the end of the end of the day or whatever else we're going to put, you know, we'll whack that in and we'll add a column for it. You know, add a column, 
put the value in, add a column, put the value in, and then it all works in a pivot table. It's perfect. What's the problem? The reality is databases didn't work that way. So because we're switching to a database mentality, we we'll have to fix that. So how do I fix it? What do I need to do? You say, I didn't understand why you've got a problem. What do I need to do? So let us go through pulling this back in to a nice blank Power BI file. Hi, I'm not going to go through and do the full thing, but we'll just pull this one bit in and we'll do the pivot just so you can remind, remember how that happened. So let us crack on, head off to a Power BI file and let's have a look. So first off, I want to import something. So I need to go into my get data. Let's get... Right, so in comes with file. It's loading in. And if you remember, it's going to come back here and we're going to hit and we're going to say transform the data. That's step number one. Yeah? Remember, whenever you're bringing in stuff, make sure you transform the data. The default load does not help a lot of people, but it throws everyone off. Transform that data. That's going to bring it up. First thing we want to do, we need to promote the headers. It's not an uncommon thing to need to do. CSV files always that way. Kind of get used to it. Use the first row as headers. So we've got all the data. We've got everything we need. Hi. Right. These are the normal tables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these ones. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and tell it we want to unpivot the other columns. So we're going to take everything else and we're going to rotate it. So now what we have is dates and values. So Afghanistan, 22nd, 22nd of January, 2020, there were zero cases reported in it. And we can see the progress of Afghanistan first off down there. We could pick a country, we could do someone else with it. But just that act of unpivoting it has given me a column of dates that I can tie to a calendar table and a consistent set of values that we can use. So we've now got this perfect table to use as a basis or as a fact table. This is what we want, isn't it? Of course, you'd still want to do some shaping and in our main COVID report, we've shaped it further. But the core thing is that we've now standardized that format. So we've got these columns running together consistently, column, column, column. There's no rows being used or further column headings that are actually column data like this was before. You know, if we're going back to how it was when we first bought it, how can I sum up how many cases are I need? To, well, I need to sum this one for January the 22nd, and then I need to sum that one for January 23rd. Doesn't make sense. It's inefficient. Once you unpivot it and you get down to here, you've got something that's perfect and that you can start working on it. Eh? Let's tell you what, that's champion, that is. So take care of your son. Have a great weekend, Ali is. And uh, yeah, hi. Take care. Stay indoors. Make sure you follow all the guidance locally that you get around the world. And we'll catch you all next week, I.